Hello, I'm Professor William Chadwick, Professor of Sociology, and I'm coming to you with a breakthrough experiment that will explain everything. Science refer to Tinder as an LBDSDA, location based dating and social discovery application. These are the three typical reasons for using Tinder. As we can see, dating, hookups, and just for laughs. Is anyone in the audience? Have anything to add? Any? Anyone at all? Don't be shy. Come on then. Come on. Symbolic interactionism, a theory drawn from the work of sociologists George Mead and Herbert Bloomer, is defined as a theory that human interaction and communication is facilitated by words, gestures, and other symbols that have acquired conventionalized meanings. All interactions among individuals, symbolic interactionists say, involve an exchange of symbols. When we interact with each other, we constantly look for clues to what type of behavior is appropriate in the context and how to interpret what others are up to. Symbolic interactionism directs our attention to the detail of interpersonal interaction and how that detail is used to make sense of what others say and do. For instance, suppose two people are on a date. Each spends a good part of the evening sizing the other up and assessing how the relationship is likely to develop, if at all. Neither wishes to be seen doing this too openly, although each recognizes that it's going on. Both individuals are careful about their own behavior, being eager to present themselves in a favorable light, but knowing this, both are looking for aspects of the other's behavior that would reveal his or her true opinions. A complex and subtle process of symbolic interpretation shapes their interaction. Do you have cats? Um, I have a few cats. You have a few cats? How many is a few cats? Mm, how many is too many? I, I mean, I have a big time, I'm like 20, 25 ish. Um, what, what's your job? I. You could say I'm. Uh, a trust fund kid. Oh, okay. So you have a rich family. That must be nice. No, not really rich family. So, the tr trust fund? I'm independently without a job. Uh, are you looking for a job? No. I, uh, I've been practicing a long time on road clients. Do you want me to... Sure, sure. See, see that bird right there? Oh, yeah, that's, that's cute. What see, kind of bird is that? That's uh, a chickadee. Do you know the, the call for a chickadee? I do. Do you want to hear it? Absolutely. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, my God. What was that? No, nice. That's really good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here with this. It's, uh, it's Tinder. Um, so let's get to it. Um, we've got... So it, it uses the, the human tendency toward, toward symbolic interactionism to, uh, you know, do some stuff. Oh, uh, we got... See this? This an X right there. Uh, when you click that, and no map. And everyone knows it because it's an X. And we're human beings. We use symbolic interactionism. And then over here, see this guy? That's a heart. And uh, you know, that's that's a like. So you, you click that. Maybe it's a match. You don't know. But uh, yeah, that's, that's Tinder. So they wanted to determine whether seeing the actual person in front of you or not would have an impact on the percent you, uh, the number of matches that a person would get. So we decided to create a model Tinder board and go around during the day and ask 30 people whether or not they would match with me. 
Here with me today is a typical Tinder user, Patrick. So are you excited to be part of the Tinder experiment? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I don't get you any matches when I use Tinder online normally, so maybe in person it'll be different. So how are you feeling? You feeling pumped? I'm excited, I'm excited. We're gonna see if I get any matches today. Hi, excuse me. We're here since the hours you saw me on Tinder, did you guys right swipe or left swipe? I don't do like smartphone stuff. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I probably right swipe. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. All right. All right. What's your bio? That's the most important part. Yeah. Uh, my bio is I'm not even on your book of couple of people. It's very typical. Oh, really? Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, well, there's no bio, so it's okay. How do you say that? If I have a boyfriend, do I answer if I didn't have a boyfriend? Well, I mean, I think most people in relationships kind of have a Tinder on the side sometimes. They do? <laughs> uh, I don't know, you better ask. You better go <laughs> um, if you're single. Just, I don't have to look at your info, I just like just... I have a blank profile. Blank profile. Blank profile. Yeah, I can say that. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's rough. It gets rougher than I expected. But you know, we, keep, we gotta persevere, we gotta fight on for the sake of sociology. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have a Tinder Oh, okay. So I don't know. Thank you very much. Obviously, yes. Oh, yes. No chance. No chance. No chance. Oh, there's no way. No way. Oh. Wait, what is right swipe? Right swipe is a match. It's like it's a match? Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking if I was a girl. Or if in general, you just might pop the button on Twitter. Yeah, I would pop the button. Thank you. Fun, very much. <laughs> Great. Thank you. In order to compare in person versus online match rates, our experimental model attempted to match with 79 people using the online application in order to see if there is a statistically significant difference in the match percentages. I feel like the most desperate guy in the world. Oh. Again. Next, we wanted to analyze whether or not someone's blood alcohol content would influence a person's decision to match with our subject. We went out with our model Tinder board and asked 35 people in South Oakland late on a Saturday night whether or not they'd right swipe. Week two, experiment number three, <laughs> going out while it's drunk. We're going to see if I can get any matches uh, this time around. <laughs> oh, it's tap for info and then hit X. Oh, uh, everybody needs some honesty. <laughs> That's true, we need some accurate data. <laughs> Good question, we're doing a project for sociology. Would you guys write swipe for solving it? Of course. Oh, really? Love right. Thank you. Right, right. Swipe right. Hi, right. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Do you a project for sociology? If you show me a Tinder, would you write swipe? <laughs> that was harsh. That was that was a that was a rough one. That was a rough one right there, you know. <laughs> at least at least do me the courtesy of saying no, okay? Just some say something. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome! No, oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Oh, thank you, thank you. That was a good strong. Merv, slut, yeah, 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 slut, yeah,
this is experiment two. This is during the day, out with the Tinder sign, walking around, having a test subject, uh, you know, confront individuals about whether or not they give them a, a swipe. And uh, that resulted in 26 matches out of 30, which is cool. And then over here, we've got at night, blood alcohol content is playing a role and uh, there we see a, a, about the same as over here, um, 80-80%. Although there was no statistically significant difference between our tests during the day and our tests at night, it did appear that alcohol level did result in much greater enthusiasm in our responses. Do you have pets? <laughs> um, I do actually. I've got a few cats. You have cats? How many cats do you have? <laughs> this is it very nice to be getting matches. <laughs> oh! You're there. Damn. <laughs> L-B-D-S-D-A. Location-based discovery and... Location-based <laughs> in dating. And social discovery <laughs> L B D S D A. Location based discovery. <laughs> Location based dating and social discovery application. <laughs> <laughs>